Let's see, just pick up the receiver and press the strawberry button, right? Damn right. Oh, you finally answer. Oh, that's Kazuichi. That voice, is that you? Oh, wait, oh, <laughs> I was wrong. That was through your head. Mid air. That's huh. right. He was suspended in mid air. Huh? Hmm. Killer tied up Mekamaru with the wire while he was in sleep mode. Yep. Tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. Okay, so I was right that the killer tied him up with that wire and hung it. But I didn't know how they hung it, so okay. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Great Tower. Hmm. Oh, and poor Nekamaru. That's right. Mm. He was so well hung. <laughs> kind of like. Oh my god. You better not. Sentence. Not like. Uh, don't you do it. Don't you say her the name. Killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. Mm. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekamaro could fall to his death. Too right. Easy. Oh, really? Really? Kazuichi? So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. Are you Why? serious? If Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? Because if he's suspended in midair, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. Okay. Um, he has a good rebuttal. I'm not gonna lie, that's a good rebuttal. So let's see. Oh the uh, hmm. New looking hand. I don't know. If they suspended Nekomaru. How would they make him fall? There's huh. no one in the tower to push him. There's no way they could do that. Okay. Wait, wait. I couldn't even. I agree with what Kazuichi is wondering. It seems certain that a difference in elevation inside the tower was used to kill Nekomaru. We need to find the answer and counter Kazuichi's remarks. Nekomaru, huh. How would they make him fall? There's no one in the let's tower. See. To push. There's no way they could do that. Let's just. Let's just. Oh, I exceeded. Hold, hold on. Back down. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Hold on, there we go. Now we're successful. Advance. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. Mm-hmm. It's possible that he fell on his own. Mm-hmm. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Let's see. Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? No. Allow me to cut through those words. Because of the timer. What do you think would happen if Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair? He would be what freaking out. Like, how would he even wake up? He has an alarm inside his body. Mm -hmm. As long as it was armed, it would have deactivated his sleep mode. Right. Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekomaru. Ah. Oh. woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why. You'd be freaking out. If something like that happened to you, yes. you would start panicking a lot, right? Yeah. Instinctively, your body would start moving. Uh huh. Nakamaru probably did exactly that. And then probably broke the doorknob from doing that. And then, in order to make him fall from the force he was generating, the wire mm. was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, huh. the straight marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? Yeah. Nakamaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? He fell, he fell because the, the doorknob door came, came off. So I was right that the killer made it look like he killed himself because in this case, him moving around and breaking the doorknob will be the cause of his death, which is himself, which would be technically a suicide, but somebody set him up that way. So there's still a killer. When Nekomaro awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. Right. Unexpected for the killer too? I don't think That's so. Probably it. If they knew it'd leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. Hmm. The killer didn't expect the doorknob to come off. The reason that even happened was because because the doorknob was locked on there. If that's really what it was, then that's the clue Nekomaru left for us to find. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. You hmm. finally understand now? Yeah. It appears it's just as Miss Sonia said. Hmm. I'm just a pest. No. No, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total fucking pig. No, you're not. Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? Never mind. If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so. Oh no, my God. I believe you gave your all. Jesus. Why aren't you teasing me anymore? This man likes abuse. I don't get it. He gets off on this. Right. So thanks to that alarm, Nekomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. Mm. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, you know that too, right? 
Really? It doesn't mean that Kamaru crashed straight into the floor. The moment that Kamaru fell to the floor, the only thing I could think that happened to him was he collided with the pillar. I see. There we go. I'm like, he had to. He had to hit it and, and then hit the floor. the floor. He ended up colliding with the pillar. Isn't that it? Mm -hmm. Finally, the pillar. Yeah, she's like, let's get to it. Shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. Hmm. I told you the pillar was the weapon. There you go, Kane. Totally right. There you go. The pillar was a bonus. It's not even clear if the killer intended that, or if it was just a coincidence. Mm. At this point, it is quite difficult to find a clue that will lead to the killer. Yeah, like I have no idea who it is. The alarm. I'm positive the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. And if we map it out from there... Hold hmm. on, baby gangsta. Oh! Stop calling me baby gangsta! <laughs> baby face! Did, did you say the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m.? Uh-huh. You didn't check it yourself? Nekomaru's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. But the other clocks yeah, could be wrong. Possible, because even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Now that you mention it, so did I. There All the no clocks were wrong. I could be late for Monokuma Tai Chi, so I looked for Grape Tower before 7 a.m. And if we found mm. Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went off. Right. Here's yet another contradiction has been birthed. But the clocks are wrong. Are able to discover Nekomaru died I think. at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Right. It's just like, I want to say that. Another mystery I don't understand. Seriously, it's just one after another. But I can't choke up at a time like this. Just a little more and I'll be able to reach the truth. There should definitely be a clue to breaking through this contradiction. I think it's because the clocks are wrong. Because... Nekomaru's clock is never wrong. Right. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's see what they have to say. We headed for Great Tower. Mm-hmm. Before 7 a.m., I am certain. Okay. But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7.30 a.m. Right. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? Uh-huh. This time of death and the time the body was discovered. Hmm. One of those must be an illusion. Which is the wall clocks. The killer probably did some tampering. Uh-huh. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. And no, 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 no. Let's get that gone. Is it that? Damn it! All right, all right, all right. I, I think it might not be the wall the clock, tower. but the radio clock then. Before so let's let's get forward. Was set for seven. Let's skip forward. One of those must there we go. Okay. The there we go. Bam. Okay, got it. So it's the radio clock that I had to hit. Cool. No, the clock inside his chest was a radio clock, so it would have been impossible to mess with. Right. So you're saying there's no way the killer could have tampered with a clock? No. Maybe the clock Nisonia saw was the one that got tampered with. Exactly. The clock inside Grape House? And no. both. I checked all the clocks inside the front house. Oh, that's what I asked you to do. So you really <laughs> listened to me and checked all it's the like, clocks. It's like, I didn't know you did it. And because of that, I can confidently declare that all the clocks had the same time displayed. If there's mm. no possibility that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that human's testimony. Why is that like that? Me. We are not lying. Then maybe it's a misunderstanding? Oh. I never misunderstand. I'll crush you into dog food. <laughs> This time-related contradiction. I don't think I should doubt the testimonies. I should doubt the clock. There's no mistake that something was done, but what was it? Perhaps we overlooked something. Maybe we're misunderstanding something. Think. If I focus and think, I should be able to find the answer to that mystery. Okay, let's do another logic drive. I like doing these things. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I like doing these logic drives. They're fun. All right, ooh, ooh, it's about to die. About to die right there, Jasmine, Jesus. Bam, bam, there we go. Not dying, hello. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Question one, what did Hajime and the others misunderstand? Um, the time in the building. The time in the building. Right? Yep, there we go, the time in the building. Hey, we got it, we got it. All right, let's keep moving. Bam. Hey. 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 <laughs> oh! Oh no! OK, 
okay, 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 okay. Okay, all right, all right. Let me stop dancing. Let me stop dancing. I need to figure out how to exactly jump over. Um. All right, let's go there, then there. Then we jump over here. Woo, there we go. Got it, got it. Okay, let's jump over there. Bam. That's what I tried to do the first time, but I died, so okay. Question two, which clock was tampered with? Um, the building's clock. It's definitely not, definitely not Nekomaru's. The building clocks, cause that's the one that could be tampered with. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Bam, hello. There we go. All right, let's get through it. Oh, okay, good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Bam. Bam, let's not die. Let's not die. Let's not lose more hearts, okay? <laughs> Question three, which house had the wrong time? Both houses, I think. I think it's both. Both had the wrong time so that they could confuse us. There we go, Jasmine. Hey! Hey! There we go, getting these logic drives. I needed this redemption. It's all coming together. I needed this redemption. You said you checked all the clocks inside the building. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Yep. Yeah, none of the clocks had the wrong time. But what if all those clocks have been messed with? Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. So even if you checked all the clocks inside the building, there's no way you'd have noticed it. Because they I both say the same time. So the killer messed with the time inside the whole building by changing all the clocks. And that's what I said earlier. So that's what it was. There's no way I would have noticed that. This is truly fantastic. Oh now my god. Now's not the time to be pleased. Right. More importantly, how much was the time off? Two hours. She's right. That's the main problem. I need to clarify how much time was off after the killer messed with the clocks. That's definitely the next mystery. I'm going to reach the truth in one go. It was off by two hours. It was two hours behind. So, let's see. Huh. Okay. If definitely not that. The was all messed up. Uh huh. Then we can only rely on Nekomaru's radio clock. The yep. time of death. It's clearly 7:30 a.m. Mm-hmm. The problem is, what time would 7.30 be in uh -huh. our time? Five. Are there any clues that can be used to narrow that down? The clock alarm the timer. The sound when you fell. Huh. It would have been a great clue. Hmm. Or his scream. Let's see. He's not the type to let out a scream. <laughs> only Nekomaru's alarm was loud enough, we would have heard it too. Hmm. There's no point in saying that. If does not exist in this world. Oh my god. Can we, can we stop coming to him? By how much time did the killer just the time inside the building? How would I even figure that out? Okay, if so the maybe... The building was all messed up, Akane's account because the she's the one that heard it. Radio clock. The time of so death, let's see. Clearly, seven... The problem is within our time. Are there any clues that if only I heard oh. the sound when you fell? Huh. It would have been a great clue. Huh. Or his scream. He's not the type of Let's see. Okay, I think I passed it. I think I passed it. So let's go around again. Let's go around again. If the time in the build, then we can right. the time of which clearly seven. I think it is what Sonia said. Okay. There. There we go. Because she heard it at 5 30 a.m. So it's two hours. There we go. That's right. We should have heard the sound he made when he fell. Wasn't it that rumbling noise? Yep. Rumbling? I thought it was just an earthquake, so I went back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Was that the sound from when Nekomaru fell? Unfortunately. Well, a huge body fell from the fourth floor to the first, and the pillar fell with it. It's mm. obvious we'd hear the impact sound. Right. Heard that noise too? It was when we were gathered at the Strawberry House Lounge. Mm. What is it, Sonia? Oh. oh, well, that sound everyone heard? I did not hear it at all. Do you sleep huh? hard? You probably didn't hear it because you were sleeping. Right. I did not sleep at all. I was awake the whole night with hunger pangs. Really? There's nothing to worry about. What's important is that rumbling noise anyway. Mm. If we use that rumbling sound as a reference, we might be able to figure out how much our time was off. But we know! I that sound probably around 5.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Huh? You can tell? I instantly woke up and left my room. And that's when I saw the clock in the lounge. That's right. Work, Akane. Uh -huh. 
Okay, that rumbling sound we heard was at 5.30 a.m. It's like the answer to how much time was left. Yeah, it was two hours. There we go. I've been saying that for like five minutes now, so. Nekomaru's alarm went off at 7.30. And if we heard the sound of his impact at 5.30, that means our time was off by two hours. And that's how we missed Tai Chi. Two hours? That much? Yep. We were starving pretty badly. There's no way we would have noticed. Mm -hmm. Plus, the funhouse has no windows. And there weren't any Monokuma announcements either. Right. However, for what reason did the killer alter our perception of time? The reason is obvious. Huh. So they can lure out just Nekomaru. Because he's the only one with the timer. Lure out only Nekomaru because he's the only with one. The clocks and used a specific thing. Uh huh. You definitely get Nekomaru to the tower alone. Because he's the only right? one that will wake up with a from timer. There, the killer's plan was a splendid success. Hmm. That's all it means. Besides messing with the time, the killer also used a specific thing. If they were trying to lure out only Nekomaru, then that specific thing is Monokuma Tai Chi. I see. Right. That's uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. The killer made use of the Monokuma Tai Chi activity in the morning. How did they use it? We were huh. required to go oh. to the Great Tower every morning at 7 a.m. for that activity. Right? So that's why Fuyuhiko saw Nekomaru going downstairs, because he was actually trying to go to the Tai Chi because his clock was the right time, and everybody else had the wrong time, and that's why they were confused as to why he was the only one going. I see. But if they mess with all the clocks inside uh -huh. the building, what would that do to us? We wouldn't be able to attend on time. Right. That wouldn't affect Nekomaru. This radio clock had the exact time. Mm -hmm. That's right. In doing so, the killer was able I to got it. into the tower by himself at the precise time. Mm. When I witnessed Neko Mar yep. early in the morning. That means that you were seeing him going to Tai Chi. If I recall, you witnessed Neko Maru around 5 a.m. And uh -huh. that time was also two hours off. It should have been it's 7, 7 a.m. Yeah. That's pretty much it. At that time, huh. he was heading over to Monokuma Tai Chi, right on schedule. Oh, poor Nekomaru. He was doing what he was I supposed see. to do. Now that I think about it, I realize what Monokuma meant when he said those words. <clears throat> Too early. He didn't even ask you yet. Right. When you said everyone, mm -hmm. you were including us, right? Yeah. We thought we came to the tower on time. But, in but truth, we were late. It was way past the meeting time. Ah, jeez. That's, well, mm. how should I put it? Um, what was it? What? You know, tripping over a foot or something like that. What? Are you talking about tripping over someone else's fault? I've never Too heard bad. that. I've never heard Fire? that. I'm right. That's not it. It's incorrect. All right, let's move on from them. That's definitely the correct. Let's just Let's move on. Yes. Gallery. Thank you. Now that we've found out how God. the killer lured Nekomaru, the number of suspects has drastically decreased. Mm-hmm. Hey, why would that decrease the number of suspects? Don't be a friggin' liar. You'll know I'm not lying. Uh-huh. What Fuyuhiko's going to say next. Oh? Huh? What the hell do you mean? Uh-oh. You witnessed Nekomaru going toward the tower. Did something else happen after that? Oh? Are you talking about that alarm? Oh yeah, he was awake for the alarm. A little while after I witnessed Nekomaru, the clock in the strawberry house lounge started going off. Correct. Plus, it was just before that rumbling sound occurred. That's it. Huh. So that's what it is. It was just before the rumbling sound. If Nekomaru died when the rumble happened, then whoever doesn't have an alibi at the time is the prime oh. suspect. Uh oh. Really? Was there anyone who didn't have an alibi at that time? Uh oh. Remember now, the sound was so loud I couldn't help bolting from my room. Uh huh. There was one guy you never left the lounge. You were both on the same floor. Uh huh. It's pretty weird that bastard never came out of his guest room. Which uh -huh. means that person does not have an alibi for when Nekomaru fell. So I was right that it was somebody in the damn strawberry house that did it. Who's the bastard? I knew it. I okay. <gasps> So the only one that didn't do, oh wow. So it's you, bitch? It wasn't you, and it wasn't you. So you, motherfucker, you? You're the only one. What? Okay, all right, all right, all right. How, the one who how? It's you, right, Nagito? How? That's right, Nagito wasn't there. Huh. It was just me, Gundam, Yeah, it was y'all two, and then him holding the clock. 
you didn't come out, even though the alarm was going off like crazy. You right. You in your room, were you? So what were you doing? Please, where were you? Please, say, say something, something, Nagato. If you don't hurry up and answer, I'm gonna suicide dive you. Girl. <laughs> if I may be frank. Oh? Even if I wanted to go to the lounge, I could. Do Why not? Things? What do you mean? <laughs> it's merely the foolish talk of the week. Huh. Not only did I not hear the alarm, I never even heard that rumbling sound. So you and Sonya did. You're definitely fucking lying. Uh, however, that huh. is also true for me. It is obvious that I did not hear the alarm in Strawberry House. But how? But I did not hear the rumbling sound either. Is that not strange? I mean, hmm. everyone else heard it. How did y'all not hear to be it? Honest, it's not just them. What? The same goes for me too. How, how did y'all not hear it? I was it? in a pretty deep sleep. So I thought that's why I couldn't hear it. But... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. They were the only ones that were in the deluxe rooms. I remember. They got the deluxe rooms. So those are like soundproof. So that's probably why they didn't hear it. Okay, it got it. Wasn't that. I probably couldn't hear it at all. Okay. What does that mean? They were in the deluxe room. Still don't know. Okay. Think about what the three of us who didn't hear a sound have in Yeah. Caught, and I'm sure you'll figure it out. I got it. The only people who didn't hear the rumbling noise were Nagato, Sonya, and Chiaki. The secret is what these three have in common. Could this also be the secret that points to the killer? They were in the deluxe rooms. They were in the deluxe rooms. Deluxe. Yep. Deluxe room. Okay. Okay. Give me a D. And pause. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Okay, yep, I, I know. Yep. All right, give me an E. There we go. There we go. But don't come slowly. Now, come on. Yep, all right. All right, let's speed this up a bit. Let's speed it up just a little bit. I need an L. Give me an L, please. Bam. Let's get that out the way. Let's get that out the way. Move. Give me an L. There we go. There's the L. Bam. Give me a, I need a U. So let's get that out the way, bam. Is that a U? Yup. Let's get that. Now I need an X. There we go, okay. So, deluxe, bam, bam. I need an E. I need an E, bam. Get the E, get the E, get the E, bam. Okay, let's get that, bam. Let's get that out. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go, bam, oh! I wanted the O's! Oh no! Okay, let's get that out. Bam. Bam, let's get the M! Let's get it. There we go. Woo! 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 Let's get it out the way. Bam, there we go, there we go. Deluxe rooms. <laughs> they were in the deluxe rooms. We got it. <laughs> oh, they were coming at me so fast. Jesus. Told Sonya and Chiaki, the three of you were staying in deluxe rooms. Right? So they couldn't hear it. If I recall, the deluxe rooms are. Uh huh. The reason we could not. That's right. It was because the deluxe yep. rooms have superior sound insulation. Right. That's why we didn't hear it. That. Nice catch, Hajime. You know what? You're using your ultimate reserve course student talent. This man is coming for me. Now, man, right? And like, you come on. Must understand by now, right? The true identity of Nekomaru's killer. Hold oh, on a wait, second. what? Why does that lead to who the killer is? Right. And why? Well, that fact just now is a very important clue. Okay. A decisive factor in identifying the killer. How? A decisive factor. So is he gonna say it somehow? I feel like I understand what Nagato means. The killer among us. The killer who murdered Nekamaru. I'm really trying to think, y'all. You're the only one. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Gundam. Huh. There's something I want to ask you. Oh? When the alarm rang at the Strawberry House Lounge, you rushed over there too, right? Yeah, he did. What's wrong with that? If the bell of catastrophe rings throughout mm. the night, it is the universe's providence to stop it. How'd you hear it? How were you able to hear it? How'd you hear it, bitch? Hear what? I mean, you were also staying in a deluxe room, right? 
Right. That's what I was thinking, too. I was like, is it him? Because I'm thinking he's the only one that would be in the deluxe room. Nagito was staying in a deluxe room in the same house uh -huh. on the same floor. So why were you he already outside of it? So why were you able to hear that alarm? Right. Now that you mention it. Huh. Oh, your baby has done it. There's only one Looks like he did it. You weren't in your room at the time. And why were you That's not in the room? Even though you were staying in a deluxe room, you still went to the lounge. Am I right? Right. Gundam. Uh. You have some sort of explanation. So Gundam killed him? Why? He couldn't return to his room because of Fuyuhiko. Ah. Uh. Me? Because you were out in the lounge. After you saw Nikomaru heading to the tower, you stayed at the lounge for a while. Am I correct? Right. Until the moment that alarm started ringing. Right? Huh. If you were in the lounge for that long, the killer who had left earlier obviously yep. wouldn't be able to go back. Because then you would Even see him. Even Nekamaru's murder was a death trap that utilized the alarm in his chest. The killer still needed to prepare the murder in advance. Correct. Putting Nekamaru in sleep mode. Mm-hmm. And tying him up with the wire. But why would he do, do that? The killer needed to be waiting for Nekamaru at the tower. Huh. Which means when Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekamaru, the killer was already at the tower. And he has to come back. And once they tried to go right. Back, they couldn't because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. And he would see them. In their original plan, the killer should have returned to their room before the alarm in the lounge went off. Oh. And they were supposed to stay in their room. Correct. They weren't planning to come out and go to the lounge. Mm. Which means they wouldn't have heard the alarm or the rumbling sound. Thus proving they were in the room, just like us. Uh -huh. The best case scenario would have been if those two in the lounge had gone to check the deluxe rooms. After all, mm. if they personally saw the killer sleeping in their room, it gives the killer a stronger alibi. Oh, why, Gundam? If they failed to secure that alibi. Why? I was in the lounge. And you would have seen it with your one eye. <laughs> so the killer couldn't go back to their room mm -hmm. and ended up hearing the lounge's alarm. Yep. So they had to wait there. But why'd you come out? You should have hid till the excitement died down. If Gundam tried to hide, mm -hmm. and if those two went to his room to check on him, he would have been found out. Yep, he had to come that out. That would have been the worst possible outcome. That's why he couldn't just stay hidden. If right. those two had just checked the deluxe rooms as planned, that would have been ideal, but how ironic. Mm. The moment Fuyuhiko set foot in the lounge, your plan was doomed. There you go, baby face. We got it. G Gundam, please, can you at least say something? Your baby then did it. He did it. Answer me this. Oh? Including myself and my four dark devas of destruction. How many ears do we possess? Ten? The answer is ten. Okay. That's right. I possess ten ears. Okay. That means I have five times the hearing of a normal human. The soundproof system here Sir. may as well not exist. Sir, we're not doing that. Your argument? Right, you that, that's not your proof. Do you understand the situation you're in right now? Right, this is not a joke. Do not panic. Oh, the now he's sweating. Shall now commence at the time. Huh. I my room to go to the bathroom. By oh. coincidence, I heard the alarm. That's right. That's okay, so he went to the was. bathroom. The world is always so simple. Are you saying it was just a coincidence? Right. Isn't that a little too Isn't perfect? That timing a little too perfect? And yet, I'm being uh -huh. suspected by all of you. We have no choice. It seems it was actually horrible timing on my part. Huh. I see. You're still holding out. Well, mm -hmm. you don't have to admit it. We're going to decide who the killer exactly. is with the majority vote anyway. And we so, all think it's you. Why don't we just go ahead and start voting? It's obvious that Gundam is the killer. We uh, might as well. What? Imagine, uh, this class trial, this killing, it's merely the opening act, you know. Oh, really? Hey, what do you mean the class trial is just the opening act? So are we going to die when we get out of here? Say, it's just a farce. Just huh. a boring farce. So boring, so stressful. I'm so painfully bored that I might develop stomach ulcers. Okay, Seriously. so what are you saying? Let's just hurry up and finish this before I collapse from poor health. <laughs> something definitely happened to you. Did it was something that he read. At some point during the investigation, your behavior became even weirder. What, right. What actually happened? Did you 
discover something? Maybe. Well, let's just leave that part for later. Oh, I finished this opening act already. Oh, you goodness. said opening act again. Please hold on. We have yet to hear Gunnar's rebuttal. I would like to hear real ones. Must completely shut up. Perhaps he can't argue anymore. Oh? Gundam. <laughs> oh, Sonya's disappointed. I'm simply at a loss for words after being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. Oh, In then provide proof. I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption has been wrong since the beginning. Since so provide the beginning? proof then. Based on your assumption. Okay. I hung Nekomaru from the fourth floor of the tower and made the floor descend to the first floor. Uh huh. There, after returning to Strawberry House, I was present when the alarm at the lounge went off, correct? Yes. Although going to and fro is busy enough as it is, how would I be able to travel oh. between both houses anyway? The little bunker. The contact elevator was broken. The As bunker. I nope. Recall, the killer tampered with the I got you. control. I got you. Shut down the elevator. No, Plus, sir. The stopped elevator should have been facing the grape house side. No, sir. So the human who used the elevator would have left it at grape house. For these mm -hmm. reasons, it's an indisputable fact. That the killer destroyed the elevator at Great House. And what's wrong with that? If right. the elevator was broken at Great House, you wouldn't be able to return to Strawberry House. But he didn't use However, it. I was already at Strawberry House. I was present when the alarm in the lounge started. He didn't reading, use it. Which means your assumption is clearly wrong. Let me start the Are argument. You serious? Let me start the argument. Here I thought it's already been decided. <laughs> it is decided. Have you learned your lesson, pitiful humans? You cannot overcome this contradiction. Mm -mm. That's wrong. When something is obviously wrong, that's when a contradiction is born. There's no such thing as a contradiction that can't be overcome. So, let's do it. Let's do it. It's that little bunker. It's that little bunker inside the final dead room. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So, let's see. That elevator was. Uh huh. The only means of travel between the two houses. Nope. Nope. As long as that elevator was broken, mm -mm. your assumption collapses. No, sir. Plus, the elevator was broken at Grape House. Mm hmm. If the killer cannot return to Strawberry House. Uh huh. Since I was at Strawberry House at that time, there's mm -hmm. no question that the following crime is impossible. Nope. We it know. Been different if they had an accomplice. Oh, or if an there was accomplice. a secret passageway. Yes, 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 yes. Damn it. Plan to lecture me. Damn it. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. I saw it. I saw it, but it was so fast. I'm gonna find out what it is. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'll shoot through the contradiction. So let's let's use. Hold on. Let's use what Akane said. Since I was there's no question that would have been different. Okay. That. Let's get that. There we go, the secret passageway. How much longer do you put? Why don't we stop this? And already? then let's do it again. So, got it. That elevator was uh -huh. the only means of travel between the two houses. Hold on, let me, damn, let me hit it. What the, oh my God. Okay, I had to as get it, all right, all right, I'll do it again, I'll do it again. Your assumption, plus, the elevator broke the Okay. If the killer cannot, since I was at Strawberry House, there's no question. Okay. It would have been different if they had more than Okay, let's get passageway. that. The secret passageway. How there we go. Longer? Why don't we stop this already? Let's continue because I messed it up. That elevator was the only means of travel okay. between the two houses. Let's get that gone and let's get that. There we no, go. Now wrong. we got it. Jesus. I knew what I was trying to do. I just did it wrong. <laughs> no, there should have been another way to move between the two houses without the elevator. Yep. Such a method does not exist. Oh, yes, it does, yes, you big liar. The who actually used that method. Uh-huh. Nagato. Nagato. Hold on. There we go. You used it. You're the only one. Because that's how you popped up in Grape House. Nagito, you should know. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking dumb. about. Right. You so suddenly that one time because you used that method, right? Exactly. How'd you just pop up? There's a secret passage connecting the first floor of Strawberry House mm -hmm. to the third floor of Grape House. Yeah. Isn't that right? Oh. Huh? Jeez. Once again, I let the reserve course show up. Oh my god. But you're right. There's a door on the floor of the octagon. 
which is on the first floor of Strawberry House. Mm -hmm. After I opened the door and went down, surprise, came there. surprise, I ended up in the Monokuma Archive, yep. which is on the third floor of Grape House. And that's how you knew. The third floor and the fourth floor are actually connected. Yes, Plus, they are. Once you've cleared the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. If they mm. use that secret passage, they could have gone between the two houses as much as they want. Exactly. Unlimited flame. Oh, don't don't try to do that now because we got you. We got your ass. However, so. what if the killer was unaware of the existence of the final dead room? How? No way they didn't know. Right. It's merely an illusion you have fabricated from your own suspicion. This but man is trying so hard. Your life. You should stop with your screw. You should stop with your lies. No Let's go. You say? You heard me, bitch. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Come on. Come on, then. Let's go. We bottle showdown. So, let's see. Even if All the right. box doesn't exist, uh huh. Travel through multiple planes. Let's hit that. Bam. Why did you use a spacious wormhole? Okay. However, how frail, frail, I say. Nope. Your okay. Illusion. Let's get those. Shall I feed you to the no. Let's get these. Bam. I can't back down. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, there we go. Woo. They already proved the secret passage exists. Right. The secret passage was at the octagon. Which you passed. Know the limits of your own reasoning. Uh-uh. You say the killer went to the octagon. Yep. Don't bark, you cur. Huh. If you don't want at least... Oh, damn it. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Damn it. God. All right. He probably means... Okay. Whatever. So, I, I hit it on accident. You say the killer went to the octagon. Yes. Don't bark, you cur. Let's see. If you don't want to drown in the middle okay. of Now let's cut that. At least pray to God. the which All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Know the limits of your own All right. Reasoning. Let's get you this on. The killer went to the octagon. Yes, you don't did. Bark, you cur. If you don't want to drown Okay, let's cut that. Allow me to Thank you. Those God. Lord. Woo. The wire used to string up Nekomaru's body. The hammer Jesus. that looked like the weapon. And the chain on the door in the tower. All came from Those that were room. Items that weren't in Funhouse. Where did the killer obtain them? Right. The, only place the I dead can room. Think of is the octagon. Mm-hmm. There were various weapons and tools there. Right. I'm pretty sure I saw stuff like wires, hammers, and chains too. Exactly. Since those items were used in the crime, there's no doubt that the killer went to the octagon. Exactly. Uh huh. They obviously know about the secret passage too, right? Because it's in there. Oh, oh, Jeez. what? This is the end. Yep. Normally, we'd end up listening to Hajime lecture us with a very long <laughs> summary of the case. Oh, we're not doing we're that? Don't waste any more time on this opening act. So I'm going to end this right now. Oh, no closing hey. argument? First of all, by messing with all the clocks in the building. Okay, so he's like, no more closing argument. Tomorrow. The elevator was probably broken by that point. Uh huh. Thanks to that, Nekomaru wasn't able to go to Grape Tower, which was supposed to be the meetup point. So mm -hmm. he tried going over to Strawberry Tower. Just like I'm mad that he's skipping over the, the whole comic. <laughs> well, it's obvious he'd attempt that. At that time, we didn't know the two towers were the exact same place. Also, right. The button in Strawberry Hall wasn't broken. So he was mm -hmm. easily able to enter Strawberry Tower. But exactly. Surprise, Gundam was waiting. waiting for Nekomaru's arrival. Uh huh. Ho hold on. If Nekomaru didn't go to Strawberry Tower, what would the killer have done then? Their plan mm. was a balancing act of uncertainty. Like maybe if he but doesn't. Even if they failed, they probably wouldn't have minded. Mm -hmm. They can just greet everyone the next morning as if nothing happened. And come up with something come else. Up with a different plan. Wow. And Without such a risky plan, they wouldn't have been able to lure him at all. I'm mm -hmm. going to continue summarizing the case, okay? Oh, excuse me. This, all right. <laughs> He's like, let's get Mario back to it. Strawberry Tower. There's no way he could fight head on with the robotic Nekomaru. Mm -hmm. So by pressing the good night button, he rendered Nekomaru without fighting. Without fighting. 
<laughs> yep. Hold on. Huh? You, you, what did you just say? Oh. That I didn't battle. Apparently. What's wrong with that? Don't mm -hmm. mess with me. Oh, you gonna transform? Don't mess with me. I cannot ignore those words. Oh, well then don't. Why are you angry all of a sudden? Right. You fools do not understand. Oh. You don't understand at all. Oh. You make me laugh. After all this time, you still don't understand anything at all. Then how about you tell I don't us? Understand anything? What does that mean? Huh? Yes. I cannot finish just yet. Maybe oh. I'm just a human destined for hell. However, I cannot finish just yet. So I explain. Cannot finish. All right, man. What do you intend to do? It's obvious. I'm going to destroy your illusory assumptions. Okay, you then go ahead. You still have more? You still have room to argue? Apparently. No words. You said I pressed Nekomaru's good night button. Yes. However, that button was on the back of Nekomaru's neck. To hmm. press it, I'd have to get behind him. It's okay. It's not easy to get the drop on Coach Nekomaru. It's even more difficult if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. But what if it's not one on one? Because he said that he has ten ears. So that means you can have ten hands as well because of your damn hamsters. Because the hamster went to go retrieve that thing from the last case on top of the thing. So you could just as well tell the hamster to go on Nekomaru's back and push the button. So it's not impossible. Just as I thought. True nah, your hamster player. did it. Succumbing so easily to this simple argument. Your hamsters did just it. A mere illusion. Your hamsters <laughs> did it. I know. If you want to set me up as the killer, at least surpass your own human limitations. That's wrong, Gun. Yeah, Whoa. that's wrong. Who's wrong? Uh-huh. Such a wonderful line. However, I cannot say that I'm satisfied. Oh, really? Listen well. I shall teach you two tips for making someone admit their defeat. Point out their lies. You must crush them with your own overwhelming power. Okay. And as for the other, you must provide a reason that will persuade that human. Okay. You definitely will. Have not fulfilled either of them. Definitely those will. Yet. Your hamsters. I guess you really don't want to admit it. Then, just as you requested, I will provide an argument that will leave you no choice but to be persuaded. So, let's go. Let's get this done. It's definitely you. Alright. Bam. Bam. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Hello. 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 Bam. Bam. Ah. Let's go. Ah, 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 yes. Gonna get it broken. Uh, uh, uh. Got it, got it, got it. Bam, bam. Ooh, ooh. Bam, bam. Ah, ah. Bump, bump. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Hey, ah, ah. Hey, hey, hey. Gonna get you. Gonna get you. Gonna get you and your damn hamsters. Gonna get you. And your hamsters, let's go. Okay, let's go. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. The dark. Oh, shoot, I messed up. I messed up, damn it. I messed up. Yeah, all right, all right. I messed up. I was looking at something else, so I'm so sorry. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, there we go. The four dark devas. There we go. The four dark devas. We got it. You got them to do it. Even if you didn't get behind Nicomar, you should have been able to press the button on the back of his neck. Because of your pet. You the power of the hamsters you keep with you. Oh, right. Are you uh -huh. seriously saying he used his hamsters to press the button on the back of Nekomaru's neck? Yes, I am. Of course, that'd be impossible for a normal hamster. Mm -hmm. But it would have been possible for Gun. Because he sends them out to do stuff. Eyes, right? Right. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, he did do that too. I was thinking about the last case. But they did press that button. So, okay. Alright. So that's another thing evidence. 
after Ibuki was killed See? in the music venue, that's what I'm talking about. retrieved the piece of wallpaper from the baton lighting, right? Yes, they did. Hey, with your friends and their exceptionally smart brains, mm -hmm. it must have been possible to secretly mm -hmm. get one of them behind Megamaru and press the button on the back of his neck. How exactly. Gundam. You got something to say to that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. That's why he's Not laughing. Just myself, but you actually brought up how splendid my subordinates are. Of course. I have no recourse but to admit it. Oh. Admit it? Did you say? Yep. You admit it? Your boo it did it. It appears I've obtained a one-way ticket to hell. Fine. Mm -hmm. Then you must trample me underfoot and in bats. Victory oh? can only be built upon a foundation of corpses. You cannot find peace without sacrifice anywhere. Okay. Now, trample this life. Trample it as though it were mere trash on the side <laughs> of the road. Oh my gosh. Pull the strings of this worthless performance with your own two hands. All right, we will. Let's vote then. Let's get it done. Oh, oh, now, oh, so now we're doing the closing argument. Okay, so we're not skipping it. All right, got it, got it. All right, let's see. Who set the clocks? Who said the lounge clock's alarms? Um, that was definitely him, but that's not the right photo. Um, what is this? Who was in the lounge since early morning? That's not it either. What time did Fuyuhiko see Nekomaru? That was at, what time is that? Three, oh, that's not, that's not the right time. Okay, let's see. Uh, Nekomaru's weakness is the button. The wire wrapped around Nekomaru's feet. Huh? Oh, wait. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. That goes there. Um, and then right here, the killer destroyed what after leaving the tower? What's the fake weapon left at the tower? Okay, that's not it. Who gathered at the lounge? Why did Nekamaru fall? Because he saw himself. Well, okay, what? Who heard the rumbling noise? I did, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, that's there. Why did Nekomaru fall? Oh, that's wrong. Okay, okay, okay. All right, God. Oh, maybe that goes there. Okay, there we go. I was confused. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I know that that one definitely goes here. That came off, and that made him die. And who gathered at the lounge? It was you guys. There we go. What was the fake weapon left? Okay. Let's see. The killer destroyed that after leaving the tower. Let's see. That? Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind then. Okay. Okay. He was at the lounge. There we go. So we got that done, that done, that done. Nekomaru's weakness is the button. There we go. Okay, the last stop. So, what was the fake weapon that was left? It was that, definitely. Okay, we got those parts. And then this one, Nekomaru's weakness is definitely that. There we Here's go. That in so this we case. got it. Let's first okay, so I'm glad that we didn't skip over this. First. They destroyed the contact elevator. This mm -hmm. separated Nagito and the others in Strawberry House from our group in Grape House. Yes. Next, they lured Nekomaru out by himself by turning back all the clocks in the Fun House by two hours. Mm -hmm. Additionally, in order to secure an alibi, he had to change the, the other one. Strawberry House Lounge and set the wall clock's alarm to 5:30 a.m. Mm -hmm. After finishing their preparations. The killer went to Strawberry Tower with the necessary tools in hand. They obtained mm -hmm. these tools from the Octagon, which you can enter once you clear the final dip. Right. This and that's how you got all that stuff. The the secret of the Fun House faster than anybody else. That secret being, mm -hmm. Strawberry House and Grave House are actually the same building. And he can keep going in and out of all of them. On the morning of the incident, Nekomaru woke up and headed mm -hmm. over to Grape Tower for a specific reason. Hmm. And he was up. There, Fuyuhiko, who was at the lounge by coincidence, right. witnessed Nekomaru. According to Fuyuhiko's testimony, that was around 5 a.m. But by that mm -hmm. point, the killer had already messed with our perception of time. Correct. In actuality, 
Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 7 At 7 a. instead of That's 5. That's also the same time Monokuma Tai Chi begins. Nekomaru went to Grape Tower to participate in that. Mm-hmm. However, because the contact elevator was broken, Nekomaru was unable to go to Grape Tower. Mm -hmm. So he decided to try going to Strawberry Tower. Mm-hmm. And that's where he was. But the killer was waiting for him there. Yep. Sick him on him With and the press the button. They were able to press the good night button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. Mm. And then I made him go to sleep. This forced him to enter sleep mode, rendering him immobile. But From why, the though? The killer began preparing to use the ultimate weapon. First, they set the alarm in Nekomaru's chest to 7.30 a.m. so he'd wake up. Mm. Then they tied him up with a metal wire, tied the tip of the wire into a loop, and hung it on the doorknob. Exactly. After leaving Strawberry Tower, mm, the I can't believe Gundam did all of this. To Strawberry Hall. They did this to keep us from entering Strawberry Tower and to mm -hmm. keep us from discovering the secret of the building structure that they used to kill Nekomaru. It was so elaborate, like, Jesus. Then, they used the secret octagon passageway to travel to Grape House. After mm. arriving at Grape Hall, they pressed the button to open the door to the tower. Which left him suspended. When that happened, the elevator yeah. on the floor of the tower began descending. And Nekomaru's body was still inside, dangling upside down in midair from the wire. The killer mm. entered Grape Tower to see if their setup was successful. And it was. And they just placed, they placed that the there. on the floor to look like the weapon, then wrapped a chain around the back door. Mm -hmm. This was done to make us falsely believe we couldn't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall. Mm -hmm. With this, the killer finished their setup and tried to go back to their room using the secret passage. Uh -huh. So they could craft their alibi when Nekomaru died from the fall. But something unexpected happened. Mm -hmm. Fuyuhiko, who saw Nekomaru earlier, was still at was the lounge. Was sitting there so As you can let him see The killer couldn't return to their room, and with no options available, time ran out. Yep, and then the alarm came off. The lounge's wall clock alarm started ringing at 5.30. Well, actually, 7 30. To mm. avoid a worst case scenario, the killer was forced to appear in front of Fuyuhiko with the others. Terrible. And when poor Nekomaru. That was also the same time Nekomaru was waking up. Mm. He woke up while he was still oh. hanging upside down, so he couldn't help but sway his body powerfully. Originally, and then that's what made him fall. was only supposed to slip off the doorknob, but because there was a heavier load than expected, the mm. doorknob ended up breaking. And then he Nekomaru bam the onto that floor all the way Jesus. to the first floor. He crashed into the pillar, which decapitated him on impact and died. The sound mm. of Nekomaru's impact echoed throughout the funhouse. Except for the people in the deluxe rooms who couldn't hear However, it. However, by this point, the killer's plan was about to fail, thanks to the broken doorknob and for Yuhiko. Meaning, mm. the killer is someone who wouldn't have heard the alarm if they were in the deluxe room. They right. also wouldn't have been able to return to their guest room because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. Exactly. So, Gundam, I can't That's believe you did it. Gundam Tanaka. I can't think of anyone else but you. I can't believe you did it. Like, why? Why do it? What did Nekomaru do to you? <laughs> splendid. <laughs> that was splendid. Mm. For a mere human, you did quite well. Stop. Yeah. Already. Like, we're done with the lies. Using weird words to avoid the truth. Right. I'll friggin' kill you myself! Don't do that, Akane. I, I don't want you to die, it. okay? I just cannot believe... Believe it. You... You killed... Nekomaru? For what I reason? I cannot believe something like that! For you what reason? You to forgive me. Do you feel regret? Do you feel regret? Then finish it! Cast your impure votes for Gundam Tanaka! Oh, we My sure will. Beloved, deadly foes, let the voting time begin! We sure will, because I feel like this this uh, class trial was drawn out a little, a little much. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Yep. Who will be chosen? Okay, we got it, we got it, yes. I bit my oh. tongue at the most important part. We all know what you're gonna say, though. Let's cast our vote, it's Gundam, let's get him out of here. Because why would he even try to kill Nekomaru? Like, for what reason? Just because he was a robot? Like, what? He just saw that as an easy kill, maybe? I don't know. 
I have no idea. It'd be bad if I bit my tongue again, so I'll speak slowly. Judging from the results, you guys were correct once again. Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement. That's right, the one who killed robotic Nekamaru is the amazing funhouse was Gundam nice. Kanaka. I said all that without biting my tongue. Now, then. now that we've decided who the killer is, let's do the execution already and get this over with. Hold on, it's true the class trial is finished, but that doesn't mean the incident is over. We can't finish yet until we hear it from Gundam. Jeez. Huh, no matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either, so do whatever you like. Oh, Why do you want to talk to me to one who is lost? The loser merely leaves. It would just be unnecessary for me to say anything. Is well. what I would like to say, but for honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Correct? You guys said I made Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. That, however, is a great mistake. Huh? Uh, Nekomaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. Lost and died? If he was just trying to cling to life, there are many ways he could have done so. However, he did not allow that. What do you mean? Explain. Fine then, then I shall reveal it all. Within the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the fun house, and I devised a killing plan in utilizing that secret. By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in luring Nekomaru to the tower. Nekomaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. I should say I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent and instantly understood his situation. And we had ourselves a stare down. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away or even called for help, but he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose a fight that risked life and death. A fight that risked life and death? He was serious too. He gave it, all, he gave it his all to try to kill me. Huh? If I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. You would never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. Nobody would know that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. Mekamaru really did that? Did he? Sensing even my subtle killing intent. Okay. As expected of you, Nekomaru. The scorching, hmm. stinging, tense atmosphere. Oh? I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. Did he want this to fight? Great. Yes, he what did. A comforting atmosphere. He wanted to fight. That's a great one. And what is <laughs> the reason? Do you right. intend to resolve this situation by killing me? Hmm. <laughs> I am the warlock. Okay. Tanaka, heroes, lords of darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. But why Nekomaru? To any trivial reason, I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. <laughs> what? You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter. Just because he's annoyed? Splendid. In response to your spirit. I shall kill you with all of my might. There you go, Nekamaru. You ain't going down without a fight. Don't even think about holding back. Don't waste mm. your breath on cowardly tactics. Give me everything you got. Oh. Tomorrow, need I. Your blood will drench the foundation of my empire. So this whole fight was because he was annoyed? Why did you fight? We are all friends. Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agreed, it was still wrong. I would not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. However, I must say this. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? There's nothing courageous about that. This is the, that is abandonment. A mere feeling of resignation. Ever since we were lost inside that building, everyone had been dominated by that feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is simply a reason to give up. Giving up on life, that's just an insult to life itself. Have you fools heard of the term dog eat dog? Cannibalism? In zoology, cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. That is what it means to live. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life itself? If a world would consider that justice, then I will fight that world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy toward life. It is a violation of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. Are you saying all that to try to justify what you did? But it sounds like Nekomaru felt the same too. That's why they fought, right? Damn it. Huh. Fine. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. <laughs> Regardless, as I've already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. Oh. But even so, don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly starving to death here? Oh. That belief is why you committed your crime. Oh. 
What about the final dead room? Why did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Unlike Nagato, I only did it once, but <laughs> compared to my battle with Nekamaru, that was a mere child's play. Well? You know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that, well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Gundam, don't tell me you. You didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? <laughs> I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. Just who do you think I am? I am Gundam Kana Tanaka, history's greatest monster. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Bang. Not in a million, not in a billion, not in 10 billion years. In the name of pandemonium, it is impossible. Is that it? Then I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. Monokuma, let us begin. Okay, I have prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. Aw, she said this is just too much. Aw, Miss Sonia, please, I beg of you. Sonia, an act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. Go oh, oh, it's fine to start for reals, right? Yes, I do not mind. However, what is it? Davis of destruction. Aww, they're sad. Oh, Aww. I feared for dark Davis of mm. destruction. That is not like you at all. They're However, worried about their master. There's no need to fear. In this mm. world, I am only a temporary visitor. I was simply Aww. visiting for a moment. And now that my duty is complete, hmm. I must return to the darkness. So he that didn't want, okay. Until the very end. I think I understand. Pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing. Let us laugh uproariously. <laughs> oh, wow. That is Gundam Tanaka. I shall stick with my evil until the very end. Open okay. Sesame Pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell. <laughs> this man's mindset is Let's out give of this world. Everything we've got. Mm. It's punishment time. Great. I think I understand now. I think that he didn't want everybody to starve to death because that's meaningless. So he decided to kill Nekomaru in order for that to not happen. What is, what? So there's, okay, so these are, oh, these are animals, a stampede. Oh no, they're gonna trample him? Oh, and look at the hamsters, they're sad. Oh, he's leaving there to safety. He's making sure that they were safe before he left. And he's making a what? What the hell? Um. Okay. He made a summon circle. He made a summon circle. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the hamsters. Oh, I kind of feel sorry for this hamsters. They're all shaking. Oh, look at the little animal angels bringing him up. Wow. And they're making him look at him. Wow. Huh, even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his parting words still linger deep in our chest. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm so pissed off, I need to throw something. Damn it. You all spent so much time worrying about each other, and thanks to that, things ended up like this. You're all full of shit, every last one of you. But the biggest piece of shit is me. Worst. Damn it, why am I so weak? Oh. It's such a downer, clearly. But still, even though we feel this way, we gotta do our very best. You are right. You are right. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not, right. Gundam will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and I presume he will be very cross with us. You're right. You're right. Huh, we shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. 
So don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow that. So how long are you guys gonna stand around chattering? The class trial is over, so it's okay for you to hurry back over to Jabberwock Island. However, the killing school trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. Hold on! How much longer are you gonna keep doing this? Seriously, how long is it going to keep doing this? How long is this going to continue? Now then. Now then. <laughs> All right, after feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey. Hold on a sec. That mood shift is too damn fast. Well, you know, it's like Gundam and Nekomaru said. That's what it means to live, right? <laughs> She's clearly something. It's certainly something else. <laughs> but seriously, I'm starving. Hey, hey. Then let's go back for now and eat. And then after we're full, let's sleep as much as we want. Mm -hmm. And then let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. With this, the class trial has come to an end, and once again, we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished, but despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial, but at that moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. Who, Nagato? Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely lucky. I never expect to obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. Oh no. <laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy, and before everyone else too. But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. There's no way the file had just Hajime- See, I know it! I knew that it did not have just Hajime's information. I knew it had everybody's information. I knew it! I guess they were too busy with other matters, or maybe they've reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. Anyway, I can't forgive Damn. this. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Even if it costs me my life. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. I knew it. I knew that he knew everybody else's stuff. Huh, what? Thanks for coming. Why, it's the lonely little Nagato. Are you all alone tonight too? So what's up? Your face looks scary. I see, so you can tell. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you find out who the traitor is. <laughs> you know me well. Is that, is what I like to say, but unfortunately I haven't learned that yet. I see, so even you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is gonna take a little more time. Hello. So why'd you summon me anyway? You Were you finally gonna confess your love? Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what about it? There was information about 16 people in the file I received, but isn't that weird? Say what? What's weird? Don't even well, know. there's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Including that person, the total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't that right? But this file contains documents that were created at Hostweek Academy, of right? That's right, I just reused the stuff that the former headmaster spent a lot of time making. If this file even contains information about the traitor, was that person also a former student of Hostweek Academy? Oh, I wonder. Hey. Could it be? Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? Hmm? What's wrong with that? If it's my job to heat things up, it's okay if I do something small like that, right? Well, That's not my point. What? My point is, you already know who the traitor is. Hmm? What's wrong with that? You're well, you're splendidly up. correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. It's just like Monomi after losing her magic stick. The traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. Their existence means nothing, huh? No. Well, no. that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. Shit. After all, that person is the evil Future Foundation lackey who's putting you guys through this awful stuff. Hmm. Huh, that's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know. Huh? Cooperation? Hey. Your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, yeah. right? Yep. I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Right. However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Mm. I see, interesting, very interesting. No, no, no. Obviously, that's a big no-no. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you, too. Well, I knew you would say that. Besides, I just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. Just as I thought, you saw right through me. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create an absolute hope that shines brightly, step ladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> You're right, you're a true believer of hope after all. I must say that belief reminds me of that person for some reason. Um, what is his name, Makoto? Almost forgot his name. <laughs> huh? Reminds you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person, they must be extremely unlucky. Why? 
-hmm. but you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like wow. this. Am I? I actually think I'm very lucky. Huh? I don't know. Wouldn't you say that coming across this much despair is a rather a rare opportunity? I can't rely on anyone on this island. That's why I have to become the one who does it. If I eliminate despair from the island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope. I'll become an existence that could even be called ultimate hope. The two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. See? Who are you waiting for on this island? Huh? <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Hey. Huh? Well, answer the question. Yes. If that's the case, if that person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? So who's he waiting for? Who's he waiting for? All right, so how many days do we have left here? Five, so we got five days left, okay. All right, chapter four is now done. Okay. So now we have seven students left. So two more people gonna die, most likely, in the next one. All right, y'all, so that is the end of chapter four for Danganronpa 2. I gotta say, I like this chapter with the fun house and everything, but I felt like it was kind of dragged on. Like even Nagato said it that like um, Hajime is just repeating a bunch of the stuff. And that is exactly what happened in this whole entire episode. It was just like a whole bunch of repeating. Someone would say something and then they will repeat the exact same thing like over and over and over. So that was the only thing that I was getting tired of. But huh, I, I kind of see why Gundam did it. But I was just sad that it had to be Nekamaru. Like, like why him? But you know, whatever. So if you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll be back with another episode of this and The Last of Us 2. So be on the lookout and I'll see you guys later and deuces.